Hello, and this is Elena Ledoux. Welcome to the Maid Summit 2020. I'm very honored to present. Thank you very much, Amar and the team. Uh, you guys are fabulous, and um, uh, let's hop in. The title of my presentation is the four simple systems to turn your business into a fat little cash cow so you can chill in Waikiki. <laughs> so uh, it's, a, it's kind of a fun title, but it's uh, completely based on reality. And uh, I, but for the coronavirus, that's where I would be right now instead of being in my home. So we're gonna talk about what systems do we need to make sure the business uh, is up and running? Why is it so important? So tell me this, does this sound familiar um, to you? Customers saying that uh, there's some baseboard damage and it definitely looks like the teeth marks. And uh, I'm pretty sure that my maids didn't do that, didn't like chew on the baseboards. And it was like one of those very large, three large dogs that she had um, or employees are scared of the mouse so they cannot proceed with the cleaning. Or another good one is vacuum shorted uh, the entire house wiring. So uh, no electricity is working and possibly there's a damage to um, electronics that the customer has. Or customer is high and uh, throwing $100 bills in the air and at your employees. That one might be particular to Vegas, uh, probably not so common elsewhere, but it definitely happened. Uh, or somebody scratched up a sink and were you looking at potentially $40,000 kitchen renovation job to fix it because the sink is attached to very expensive counters and they're unique granite, leathered granite. And uh, yeah, to, to fix that, you have to replace uh, basically the entire granite in the entire very high-end kitchen. Right, so yeah, yikes. Uh, we didn't have to do that, thankfully, but it did happen. Um, or your employee got arrested uh, through a mistaken identity and actually released later, but you had to rush, drop everything and rush to the courthouse. Uh, or that one is a good one because uh, I hear that happens uh, to more than one business owner, but the employee is pooping in customer's yard. Has it ever happened to you? Uh, if not, then you just wait long enough. It probably happened to you as well. Uh, or manager forgot to make some kind of critical payments. It could be retirement contribution payments or tax payments or something else that was supposed to be taken care of and it was never taken care of. Or there's a global pandemic and the whole world is going to the, to hell in a basket, right? So basically the way most business owners, small business owners, especially in the maid industry, um, this is our life. And uh, at some point you start thinking like, is this a business? What's more important to me, my life or my business, right? It's very stressful. So versus when the system is fully systemized and you have things that deal with the problems or issues or performance in general, uh, then and people in place, then you can have the alternative picture, which is uh, chilling in Waikiki while your business is bringing you cash, right? This is, um, I think, my actual legs. Uh, I cannot confirm or deny it, but I would say yes, because it looks like um, my kid in there in the background. But this is definitely Waikiki. And um, yeah, everybody should go there instead of dealing with employees pooping in customer's yard. So we're going to cover four systems today. One is uh, people. You need to have systems around your people in place. Number two is sales. So your sales should be systemized as well. So it doesn't require your constant effort as the business owner going out and basically hunting for something to feed your babies, right? So sales should be systemized as well. Money is like when the money is coming in, make sure there's some money left. Uh, for you and for your team as well. Normally, we pay everybody else and we are last in that sequence. So we need to make sure money is right and we're actually making money, not losing money, and we get to keep the money. That needs to be systemized as well. It's not an accident. And uh, lastly, but not least, is <clears throat> the actual work needs to be systemized so you don't have consistency of 
just a random chance, you know, one day you did a fantastic job, <clears throat> another day you did an awful job. So there's going to be some variation, but for the most part, if you systemize it, the quality will be consistent. Let's see. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice here. Yeah. So um, this is basically uh, a little bit about myself. Uh, I am a first generation immigrant. I'm a lawyer, an economist. I'm the CEO of Superb Mates out of Las Vegas, Nevada. We're a seven-figure uh, maid service, highly systemized. Uh, I'm also the chief operating officer of the Boss Security Screens. This is my husband's company. It's uh, another seven-figure, hopefully eight-figure company soon. Uh, and then um, I'm also AJS Conquer coach. I coach uh, over 20 small businesses and kind of large businesses as well to get to the next level. And uh, that actually is probably testimony to how well my own business is systemized that I'm able to also jump in and help with other businesses. I was also 2019 small SBA Small Business of the Year um, for the state of Nevada and Entrepreneur of the Year by Women uh, of Distinction Awards or National Association of uh, Women Business Owners. Fantastic organization. And I was also very honored uh, to be Humanitarian of the Year by the Healthy Sunrise Foundation as well. So I do some nonprofit work. And this is me uh, with my son, um, my youngest son in Paris, I think it was at the end of last year. And hopefully that's going to be me again soon, as soon as the pandemic is over. But if you want to follow my journey and um, kind of learn some business tips and financial uh, independence tips, you can find me on YouTube at Elena Ledoux. Okay, enough about me. Let's talk about systems. So the first and the most critical system is people. So for the most part, when we start our company, we start kind of randomly hiring people, anybody with a pulse, and then we quickly learn that that is not the way to go. And uh, then we start developing systems, hopefully. If we don't develop systems, then it's forever feels like... Um, um, like uh, we're in a hamster wheel, right? It's like we hire people, we fire people, we hire people, we fire people, quality sucks, you know, it's just uh, same story over and over. So what systems do you need to have to make sure that you're, you got the people component of your business right? Uh, number one, you need to have a hiring pipeline, uh, which means have an awesome, amazing, sexy ad uh, and that talks about how amazing of the company you are, what is that employee going to get from coming and trusting their life and their family lives into your care, into your company's care. Um, another thing that needs to have in your hiring pipeline is the application page that's very clear and um, asks for exactly the information that we need to make the decision. And as well as a recruitment video explaining what it's like to work for you and why they should go work for you and how can they advance and what are the benefits and detriments of working for your company. Um, next thing you need to have is pre-screening interviews. So some people say uh, you ask them an application page, do you have a car? Yes, I do. Do you have a right to work in the US? Yes, I do. Uh, and then in reality, what goes through their mind is like, well, I don't, but if I talk to them, I can talk them into it, you know, I can ride the bus or something else, right? So for that reason, you need one more step to save you some nerves and aggravation, which is pre-screening interview, could be by phone or Skype or Zoom or even in person. Um, next step is the job test. Um, regardless of how amazing somebody sounds or looks on paper, uh, sometimes they just don't know how to clean the toilet properly. That would be me. Uh, so uh, that step is designed to, to weed out people who don't have the agility. They, they have a hard time moving around in the confined spaces. They're clumsy or they're just not detail oriented or something like that. So uh, you can still train them to be a decent um, house cleaner, but it's going to take everything you've got and it's just not an effective use of your time. So um, job test is basically you're giving them a small task and then watch how they complete it. And then the next thing is, um, assuming they passed it, there's a trial period just to see if you enjoy working with them or not, and if they're enjoying working with you or not. After the trial period, that's typically a couple of days, then um, you go into hiring onboarding that needs to be systemized as well. 
So we need to have the outline uh, of the steps, all the forms, everything. So anybody can jump in as your HR manager and pick it up and do it for you. Or you can do it yourself. So that's number one um, component of the people systems. Number two component is the training. It's very, um, the quality of your work will depend on, and the happiness of your employees depends on how well they're trained, right? So make sure you have some kind of talent uh, LMS, which is learning management system. Uh, and it's actually a program. Um, it's excellent or train you all or anything else out there. Uh, I think, I believe there's Bamboo HR and other programs that will allow you to train people by video or even um, test them. And of course, you should have in-person training because unfortunately, uh, our work uh, includes a fair amount of physical work and actually being in the field. So make sure you have an in-person training that's structured as well. There's steps and there's certain things that need to be covered. Um, and then lastly, but not least, is the employment manual. So your employees need to understand what their rights are, uh, what the rules are, and things like that. So that needs to be in place. So some of the pro tips when it comes to the systems uh, uh, of people is hire for attitude, not the aptitude. I don't care how great of somebody is a cleaner, if they have bad attitude, they're out. Do not hire them. Uh, hire slow, fire fast. That's self-explanatory. Um, employment ad should read more like a dating profile, not like, um, you know, like you're trying to, like you're Google, you're trying to hire somebody uh, and there's, you know, million applications for each position. So uh, make sure you write something attractive about yourself and your company. Make them fall in love with your company, like kind of flip it uh, from the typical, the way the typical ads are written. And that's actually key to attracting a lot of candidates. Uh, and then lastly is make sure that each team member has a KPI they're responsible for. So um, you can hold them accountable to that. Um, second system that needs to be, um, second area of their business that needs to be systemized is the sales. So uh, make sure you have uh, very clear company values. Make sure you have strong branding, logo, website, market position, uh, reputation. Make sure that you have um, established levers. So lead sources, for example, um, you know, Yelp works really well for us in Google. And uh, excuse me, let's see. Yes. So. Uh, make sure, and then some other lead sources don't work very well, so you don't need to engage in them. Make sure you have really strong copy and imagery that you're constantly improving and tweaking. And make sure that you are um, have a really good support landing um, the leads. What that means is if somebody you're generating a lot of leads, for example, a lot of calls or messages, you need, you need to have robust systems in place to catch them and land them, right? So phone tree with scripts, phone scripts, FAQs on your website. And this is like our website. You can see an example of that. Um, Self-service, people can should be able to instantly book themselves or request a quote. Uh, and also VAs, for example, one of the great companies is Pink Collars, all right? So they will provide the staff for you and they answer and handle and close those deals for you. Uh, pro tips on sales. Uh, research, research, research. Make sure that you understand what is it that people need um, and before you start selling it to them. Test everything. So try, my philosophy is try everything, all the avenues as much as possible and then decide which one works and work and don't work for you. Curate lead sources, meaning get rid of the ones that don't perform very well and then invest more money into the ones that do work well. Reputation is everything in our business. That's another tip. Explore PR. It could be very powerful, especially for the SEO uh, and Google Maps. So if you need a good um, company to work with, you can reach out to On The Maps, Karina Singer. That's our SEO person. She's fantastic. So um, money, uh, let's see. I'm going to show you my picture with the $100 bill. There you go. So money is another area of your business that needs to be highly systemized. Make sure you have current and regular updated financials. Um, QuickBooks Online, not like a desktop version, please. Uh, bookkeeper or even offshore VA who handles the reconciliation. Make sure you know and track your KPIs. Uh, so gross sales, what's your gross sales every month? Uh, what's your cost to revenue percentage? Uh, which is critical to your net profit. Make sure you know what your net profit percentage is and kind of try to increase it as much as possible so you can pay yourself compensation. Make sure you pay yourself really well because you work really hard. Um, 
Then make sure that uh, payments are automated and done online as much as possible, especially in the in today's environment of Corona pandemic. So the pro tips on money, be sure you know who your target market is. Um, you, oh, not market, you, who you, where your target dollar amount is, right? How much do you need um, to be happy? And then include tax planning because once you start, money starts pouring in, then you have to pay uh, a large bill to IRS and that's going to make you cry. And then uh, evaluate every type of service and every client for profitability. Get rid of the ones that are not profitable or raise your prices. Also, cash is king. Make sure you get paid first. Uh, lastly, but not least, you, the systems that you need to have in place are for work itself, for production. So make sure you have safety rules in place that are written out and there's training. Make sure you have tools and supply lists so it's easy to reference for purchases. Make sure you have online and in-person training for actual cleaning and make sure you have quality check system or some kind of feedback system from the customers or trainers or you know quality assurance person in your company make sure your communications are on point because there's a lot of moving pieces in our business a lot of uh, times a lot of disasters happen because of there's miscommunication right and make sure you have some sort of field manager or operations manager or that prefer field managers um, that can take care of a lot of the noise in the field so pro tips for work, um, make sure you tie the quality of um, the work that the employee performs directly to their compensation, right? So if they don't, I always say like, if they don't feel it in their pocket, they're not going to feel your pain, right? So make sure they feel your pain in their pocket. And conversely, if they perform fabulously well, clean amazingly well, fantastic customer service, then they should feel that in their pocket as well, right? Because you definitely will. Uh, communication is critical to manage expectations. So by that, I mean communicate with the, um, your both your employees and your clients very clearly. Make sure emails are concise and to the point. Uh, texts are all concise and to the point and everybody's on the same page. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of um, aggravation. In fact, every time a disaster happens in the field for us, we pause and we think about what communication would have prevented this from happening. Um, employees get direct feedback from customers, good and bad. That helped us a lot. Uh, as soon as they see that feedback, they know I'm not the bad guy, right? If they screwed up, uh, it's in customers' eyes that, that they screwed up, right? So that takes a lot of pressure off of you. Which I don't like disciplining my employees. So summary um, from for all the systems and today's lecture is systemize every aspect of your company, which is you know, as we discussed, the money, the people, the actual work, and the sales. Um, so everything should be autom automated as much as possible, at least 95%. And then make sure you have the right people in place. And then what's going to happen if you do have everything systemized is that as your company grows and scales, that those systems will be like scaffolding for that growth. It allows you to grow and expand. Conversely, if you don't have a system, uh, it's a constant mess and chaos, and it's very, very difficult to scale. Um, as well as systems will help you survive the storm, as we're finding out right now with coronavirus and global recession. Uh, you can see how good your systems are, if you can withstand them or not. So um, I actually, I know that we have a 20-minute limit so I actually record a lot of videos explaining uh, components of what I just talked about, how to hire, how to interview, and I'm going to go ahead and record it on the other uh, components of that as well. You can go to my YouTube channel, Elena Ledu. It's E-L-E-N-A-L-E-D-O-U-X. Subscribe. And then uh, if you have any questions, ask me right under the videos. Um, that's probably the easiest way to get a hold of me. Have a great day. Um, let's do this uh, right up. I think the turnaround is right around the corner. So uh, let's work on this together. Have a good day.